on this. We have a very privileged expert, not Diego Maradona, not Pelé, but somebody who is absolutely fantastic. He is an internal branding expert, Dr. Nicholas Erbel. He's the author of the best-selling book, Brand Ovation, How Germany Won the World Cup of Nation Building, and the sequel, The Hero's Journey, Building a Nation of Champions. Now, Dr. Nicholas Erbel holds, uh, holds a PhD from the Free University in Berlin. Um, he's also got a postgraduate diploma from from John Hopkins University of Baltimore. He's currently engaged in 2010 FIFA World Cup news and commentary for the Business Day and for CNBC Africa. We've also found a German who has a sense of humor, ladies and gentlemen, which I think is our big accolade. He's absolutely phenomenal. I'm allowed to say that because my Nachname is Strauss and das ist eigentlich sehr, sehr Deutsch. So herzlich willkommen, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dr. Nicholas Erbel. Und dann sind wir sagt, wo waren die Bären, was sind ja mal wo Messi? Im P. Und dann sind wir sagt, wo waren die Bären, was sind ja mal wo Messi? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hero's Journey, how Germany won the World Cup in internal branding and how South Africa shall clinch this title in 2010. Three years ago, President Africa is calling. Come to Africa in 2010. Hosting the most successful World Cup ever, a promise that was reiterated by President Zuma, will require exactly what? According to FIFA President Plata, this title currently belongs to the previous host, Germany, because, and I quote, never before quote, has an unfriendly, at times even body. And what the World Cup did for Germany, it transformed that brand image to the new archetype of the lover, which is all about being hospitable, outgoing, welcoming, friendly, modern and innovative, to such a degree that the day after the final, which did not involve Germany, the British Times ran the headline, never mind the final, the true winners are Germany. And here are some pictures of what happened on the pitch and off. meaning people refusing to consume. One electronics retailer, even coining this brand promise, guides is geil, meaning stingy is cool. <laughs> the highest unemployment since the war, a big match-fixing scandal in the Bundesliga, politicians talking about no-go zones because of xenophobia, and it was Tony Blair, about the way that the UK movies were portraying Germany including this one. Okay, watch! Who's this then? Stark, you! I'm not going to have a funny one! He can't! He can't! He can't! He can't! He can't! And now I see only a white-white-gold fan. When he won that penalty shootout, all of a sudden, the entire nation decided to make friends with each other. Now the final battle, which would prove whether the German people had actually internalized the brand, was the semi-final against Italy, where many people were worried what would happen... Twenty ten fever to the power of ten. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is a beautiful game, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. <sighs> oh, I think I'm getting twenty ten fever. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, both Joanne and I had the privilege of being there at the World Cup in Germany. It wasn't my first visit to Germany, but it felt like my first. It really was a nation transformed. Mm -hmm. Friends making friends. Uh, from the stoic face and the I only want to hear one click to tears and hugging strangers. 
It was an amazing time. And yet they talk about the transformation that happened in 31 days. The real transformation took place four years earlier mm -hmm. when it was those nation brand builders that said, let's do the impossible. Let's change what people think, thought could never change. Mm -hmm. And let's take this journey of heroes. And that's really what happened in 2010. And that was the real victory. So Dr. Everell, thank you so much for your insights. I know we really, really appreciated that. Absolutely.